In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your mercy that endure it forever. Thank you for your protection over us every day. To you be all the glory, honor, dominion, majesty, and power forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to another wonderful time with God and glorious morning shower. It is a new day and it is your day in Jesus' name. The word for our shower this morning is place demand on his promises. Joshua chapter 14 verse 10 to 12. And now behold, the Lord had kept me alive as he said this forty and five years. And since the Lord speak this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now I am this day four score and five years old. Now therefore give me this mountain, wherefore the Lord speak in that day, for thou hadest in that day how the Anakims were there and friends. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. This is Caleb placing a demand on Joshua. We know these two young bad guys, they were the people that brought the good news. Joshua and Caleb, they brought the good news to the people of Israel under Moses. They were the spies that went there. There were 12. All that said, we are like grasshopper before them. But this one say, even if we look like grasshopper, we are well able to go and take the land. Now, there was a promise to Caleb and say, this portion of land has will be given to him and his descendants. Now, he is now 40, he, he was 45 years old when that instruction was given. Now, he is now 85 years old. First call means 80. 85 years old. 40 years apart. And he's not challenging Joshua. He said, give me that mountain. God has promised you a mountain. God has promised you a nation. God has promised you a community. God has promised you a territory. And today he said, place a demand on it. Even if he promised you need to place a demand on it. That is why he said, ask and it shall be given. It is yours, but until you ask, it shall not be given. Until you knock, it is not going to be open to you. So, every promises of God is subject to the demand of the one that has been promised. He said, now give me this mountain. I believe God that if he said we are able to chase the Amalekites, then I know he will help me to overcome them and take over the land. Let me tell you, in the journey of life, Nobody give you what you deserve. They give you what you demand. That's our Father Bishop already for said that. See? You think they will give you? Your face is good? They will not give you. Do you deserve it? Excellent. You deserve it. But they will give you. But the day you begin to place demand, give me now this mountain. Now, this demand was not to their enemy or their opponent. He is to his own brother. The two of them were the spies. So you remember? Don't play on my intelligence. Give me now. He said, no, they are too strong. They are malicious. He said, don't worry. He said then that I, he will help me overcome the Amalekites. 
Just give me and see what I will do to them. I pray in the name of Jesus that your promises, your expectations will no longer elude you because of your carelessness. It shall no longer be a mirage looking at it from far and not be able to reach it. God has put an end to that already. So start placing a demand on it. the cars he promised you. Are you there with that child? 10 years, 12 years, don't give up. Place a demand. I need a fruit of the womb. You told me that even my cattle shall not be buried. Why am I not giving birth? Today, I place a demand on this. Let the womb of my wife, let my womb open and let children come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Not even my cattle shall be buried. That was his promise. So I'm not having children. Place a demand today. You see the door open. You've been complaining. You've been complaining and telling people your problem. But have you told God? Have you placed a demand? We don't beg. We believe. Believers don't beg. So you come into God begging. A man of God, Miles Moron, preaching one time, you know, he said, the judge in the court of law will not give you judgment because of your tears. He gives you judgment by evidence that you prove from the Constitution. Subsection this, clause this, say this, say that. So because of what it is said there, I tell you, judge, give me judgment in this. Then you give you. Have you forgotten the story of the unjust judge? Unjust judge? He said, because of her continuous coming, she worries me. So let me give her what she's demanding. Not what she deserve. What she is demanding. And the Bible said, if an unjust judge could answer the prayer of that woman, how much more your God? Place a demand on those promises today and you see God respond to you. The story for today is from the book of Daniel chapter 10, verse 12 to 14. Verse 12 says, then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chastise thyself before the Lord. Thy words were heard, and I am come for thy word. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But Michael, one of the chief priests, came to help me, and I remained there with the king of Persia. We know this story very well. Daniel, the day what he deserved was given, but it was withheld. Is that not what God is telling you? What you truly deserve can be given unto you. But there are forces that will stand and say, no, oh, no, we're not going to give him. But when you come upon those forces with a demand, release me from that your cage, you stupid devil. Remove your hand from my children. They will go. He will go. If only you can place a demand. You say heaven open to you. Lesson for today is, Simple. Life will not give you what you deserve, only what you demand. So start placing demand today. The Lord bless you on glorious morning shower. It's a new day for you. And I pray that this day end on a good note for you in Jesus' precious name. Amen.